He didn't think twice. That's what a West Lawn man says happened when he got his gun after seeing robbers pull a gun on his sister and nephew. It is just one of two armed robberies within minutes of each other. Our Chardé Gray spoke to the man who said he had to protect his family. A mother and a son were sitting in their vehicle when two gunmen robbed them. They were forced back into their home, but that's when a family member stepped in. They picked the wrong house. Sebastian really Segura tells us this scary ordeal started around 1.30 this morning. His 56-year-old sister was headed to work like she typically does. Her son, his 20-year-old nephew, was giving her a ride. Police say that's when two armed men demanded their property. They took their belongings and then forced them into the house where Segura was sleeping until he heard yelling. I see uh, a gunman pointing a gun at her and my nephew. Segura calls it a hostage situation. I mean, when you have a gun to, you know, to somebody that you love, you don't think twice. He says the gunman told him and his brother to go away, so he did, but came back with his gun. He says he has a concealed carry license. I tell her to get down, duck, get out of the way. They shot once, I shot right back. They shot again and just kept exchanging fires. The bullet hole in the front window is from Segura shooting at the suspects. I was, I was really close to to getting one of them, but unfortunately they fled the scene. The same thing happened to another person just 15 minutes later and two miles away. Police say in the 3300 block of West 59th place, a 17 year old male was inside a vehicle when a black SUV approached. Again, two armed men got out and demanded property. They forced the victim into the house where they took more items and left the scene. Even with the similar pattern in both robberies, Chicago police still haven't said if they are connected. It was very, very scary, traumatizing, and um, just you don't think that it's, it's, it'll ever happen to you, but it, it does happen. As for Segura, he says his family is still in shock. We're all just taking the time and thanking God that nothing happened. Police say no one was hurt in any of the incidents and no arrests have been made. Reporting in West Lawn, Chardé Gray, CBS News, Chicago.